Well, today we are going to the super exciting Vermont State Fair. We haven't been here in about uh, 15 years. Lisa, Lisa just uh, couldn't resist the urge to do it. It's been not. Uh, it's closed a couple of years ago because of COVID. But now here's Lisa picking up our tickets, twelve dollars each, and we're about ready to go into the uh, the entrance. Um, maybe we got here early. Not uh, not not a lot happening here. It's about 3:30. Uh, Oh, it looks super exciting. Actually, we were here so long ago, our kids uh, rode these small rides. Up, right, Bob? Yeah, are they collecting tickets there? No, all right. No, you got, you got this you got to put on. Oh, I got to put some back. Let's put it right on Andy, there, man. Andy put it on me. I want to be an uh, authorized user of the Vermont State Fair. That's right. They'll let you stay. Ooh, it's stuck to this. There we go. <clears throat> ah! Uh oh. There we go, you are. Officially. Can you do bracelet. it? Can you do it? Oh, I did it. A sloppy job there. And we parked right across the street. Guy cost guy charges five dollars park on his yard. So that's pretty convenient. So let's go in, see how much more money we can spend. Mm -hmm. Ah, some few stands in here. Inside the building. I don't know, I don't know. Ooh. Ah, here's something you don't see often. Vermont Trappers Association. PETA, don't be looking at this. Oh! All right, we're gonna get the. Lots to see and do. Jump on that train, take a ride. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna. See the whole fairgrounds. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, we're gonna jump on the train. They say, they say jump on, see the fairgrounds. They didn't say that uh, we had to be. Kids, look. There's hardly any kids on this thing. All right. Yeah. Hop in. Where do you want to sit? Oh, they're sitting right in the front there. Right there. Uh oh. On the train. Check out. Whoa, wow. I need to sit on that guy, man. Woo wee. I'm in dipping. Fried onions with horse radish. Uh, just like so exciting. It is, wow, what a ride. It's a barnyard cackle review on the hour and a half hour. Ah, check them out, man! Ah, watch out! Ah, here's the air dog. The air dogs, what is that? Air dogs? Oh, they jump, they must jump into a pool or some shit. 6 p.m. Hey, wow, oh, it's so exciting. Holy heck. Woof. Hey, hey, hey. Ice cream, the dairy center. Oh, I thought it would be cows. Vermont Master Gardeners. There's a carving center. Ooh. sugaring equipment. Oh, this is the place I gotta stop in and learn how to get my maple sugaring equipment. <laughs> I saw it all. I'm going home. And 
check out our driver. Hey. Hey. Very Vermonty. We're going into the dairy center. We're not hungry. At all. At all. But we decided that uh, we should have something now so that when dinner comes, we're actually hungry. That makes no sense. I know, exactly. That makes any sense. Uh, uh oh. Here comes our Sunday. Wow, look at that. I got this one. Thank you. You're the best. Check this out. One 12 to 18 inch tree gives you 10 gallons of sap. It's gonna give you one quart of maple syrup. So one quart of syrup per tree. Wow. There's old school. We have the taps going into the buckets, but nowadays, we go here to the new school, where we get taps into hoses. go into a big big feeder line that goes down that goes down the hill. And what's this thing? I think that's where they uh, where they can I don't know they what's it called? They condense it up? I don't know what it's called. And here are the award winners from this year. I wonder if we know anyone. By accident? Check it out! Wow. Maple syrup has antioxidant value. Way, way Being up there. Antioxidant value, in fact. Wow. Of course, you need an awful lot of it. Quarter cup. Check out the wood carvings here. Of course, you got the the bears. Always the bears. I haven't seen any owls before. Oh, he's using a grinder back here. Check him out. Just to give you an idea on the pricing, here, what do we got? This guy here is uh, four hundred dollars. Cardinal here, it's one hundred and twenty. One of these little bears, he's 105. And you got these little owls over here. 
And uh, these little owls are 40. And you get this... Uh, oh, the big owls are 60. Uh, the big owls are 60. You get this interesting little bench with the cardinal sitting on it for uh, nine, right. 900. That's actually a really good price for that bench. So yep. I think we should get one and put it down by the water. Yep. All right. Way to go, Bob. Well, if you got a travel blog, you got to get a whole picture of the trailer and everything, yeah. you know? Yeah, we do. You that's got to make us famous. That's his job. <laughs> that's his job. There you go. Right. I mean, it's still going, by the way. Okay, let's see how bad that was. That it wasn't bad at all. Oh, that's all right. All in the black. Wow, that's pretty good. For as much as that was floating around there and, and, yeah. as, and as uncomfortable as Shoot that was. Off, man. That was a good gun. Yeah. Good job. All right, right. right. Wow, you did great. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> Very good. That was fun. You go, girl. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you put your name on this one. What's your name? Lisa. We're going into the 4 H building here. Lisa was in the 4 H when she was a kid. I was. Let's see what they got here. Middleton, Massachusetts. Hey, here's the Emerald Ash Borer. That's the, the latest uh, budget range. Some of the stuff here has already been judged. The culture department. And the food preservation department. Now, this guy's brave. That's a, it's a corn pit, not a sand pit. Here's the forestry barn. Lumber is obviously a big industry here in Colorado. I mean, in uh, Vermont, very, very big. Check it out. There's uh, 300 years of innovation in maple taps. Uh, and obviously, one of my favorites, the black walnut, which is what he was uh, cutting out there. Just beautiful, beautiful. Wow, the red elm is uh, extraordinary too. Going into the machine shed. Oh, in memory of dad, grandpa. Uh, no, he died 10 years ago. Must be an old farmer for There it is, the old stuff. Well preserved here. Probably open it up once a year. So here's more stuff at the farm museum. Older stuff. Don't touch it because it's extremely fragile. It's going to fall apart. So this was not used in cooking. I guess this was used for um, metal, hmm. right? Maybe.
mud sucker. This guy's making baseball bats off of a off of a slave. That's pretty cool. Is it lazy? Oh yeah. Yeah. He's making baseball bats. Oh. And uh, here we are at the uh, Stinky Cows, as Lisa would say. Can't go to the state fair without seeing the stinky cows. And of course, the fair, the, the, uh, the rides here, and the pets and poultry barn in here. Lots of goats, some chicks, some rabbits. All right, 24 feet 7 inches, 24-7. And a good throw there, nice, nice throw there, right? Go! <laughs> Whoa! I heard that snap. You hear that snap going for the toy? How about 29 feet 5 inches? Oh, boy! So Lisa, what do you think of the Vermont State Fair? It was awesome. It Absolutely was. Absolutely awesome. It was. We haven't been here for, I don't know, 14, 15 years or so, and uh, we always went to the kid-related stuff, and uh, it was, uh, we had a lot of fun, you know, lots of, uh, lots of stuff we didn't know, and uh, it, was, it was, it was a great evening. It was, the food was fun, the food yeah. was really good, very genuine Vermont, huge portions. But we stayed away from the fair food, we went on to the general, general uh, uh, Vermont food on yeah. the other side, but. Uh, it was just a really cool, um, genuine Vermont experience, yeah. really, to me. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So it was really fun, absolutely, if you're in Vermont, in um, August, go to the Vermont State Fair, the Rutland Fair Rounds in Rutland, Vermont. Until the next time, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe to our channel to see our exciting upcoming videos. Hasta luego!